What is up guys and welcome to our Christmas live stream where we help you Christmas shop. Kurt, you have a wonderful outfit. Uh, thank you. I just want to say meowy Christmas to everyone out there. <laughs> <laughs> what do you have on? <laughs> what is so, this? So I was talking to my neighbor. I'm like, hey, we're doing a live stream tomorrow. I need like a, an ugly sweater. Yeah. He's like, I got something even better than a sweater. <laughs> this is his grandmother's like silver fox jacket. <laughs> And it is, Kurt, Kurt, it is full length. Oh, man. <laughs> it is full length. <laughs> so oh I don't gosh. know that I'm going to last in this. That is I'm, hilarious. I'm literally burning up. I've, I've had it on about 20 I minutes. I do have something, though. What, what you got? <laughs> I just want to comb you down. Do, do we sell this comb? If we do, actually. <laughs> this is one of the Chicago Model nice. 4s, I think. Model nice. 4, Chicago. I'm just going to yeah. shed through the whole show. It's like, oh, this it's, thing is gnarly. It's no, bad. don't do that. It's, it's not mine. It's bad. <laughs> All right, so what we're doing tonight, guys, is we are going through the knives that you want to see, perhaps to buy for Christmas. So what we did is on Instagram, we asked you what you want to see, and we have pulled those and put them on the table. But at the same time, we are monitoring the comments on uh, YouTube. So if you have a knife you want to see, we have Trevor running around in Santa suspenders. <laughs> yes, he is. <laughs> that sounds weird. <laughs> Trevor in the Santa suspenders. He'll be running to the warehouse to grab us stuff to bring it on set. And we're going to do this for about 90 minutes, probably till about 7.30. Which brings me to my next point. It's are, dinner time. Are you hungry? I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm super hungry. I like pineapple on my pizza. I love pineapple and on my pizza. And our address is uh, 564 West, 700 South, number 102, Pleasant Grove, Utah. Come in the west entrance. I'm excited. We're relying on you Who's going to help us out? <laughs> we need that help. Okay, and the other thing is, uh, while you're joining us, I don't know how many people are on here. <laughs> Andrew's monitoring the comments. Andrew, how many people are on here now? Many. 250. 250. Sweet. 10. Sweet. I'm going to try to monitor your comments here. Maybe. Maybe not. Hmm. We'll see how this goes. I don't think I'm going to be able to. <laughs> but know. the other thing I want you to know is during this live stream, there will be five opportunities for giveaways. We're gonna be giving away a Benchmade shirt. Watch your drink. Whoa, careful. Benchmade flat lay shirt, as well as a deck of Protec cards and Gerber cards. And then the very last one around 7.30 will be a Kaiser uh, bag lighter with a shirt and two decks of cards. So uh, stick around. The way you can enter that, Andrew's giving me some great instructions here. Um, ask a question in the chat. Tell us what knife you want to see on the stream, and then fill out this form so we can give you your prize. So you have to fill out the form basically so that uh, we know who you are. Um, so, kind of fun. Follow the directions, win some swag. Okay, Jamie told us to delay while people got here. Did we delay enough, Jamie? <laughs> Jamie says we've delayed enough. Okay, well, let's, let's get into some knives! All right, what's, let's a, do what's it. first on the list, Kurt? We got this Spider Co. <laughs> I knew you were going to forget. <laughs> It's the autonomy too. It's the autonomy. I don't know why I want to call the. God, you wanted I, to call it the appendix. I did. <laughs> Which you is know, a terrible name. For I a think knife. my appendix might need some attention. Fair but enough. We'll see. So guys, this one just barely came back out. It's the uh, Spider Co Auto. Show the good people. Mm, I will. Look at this. Ready? So satisfying. It's not bad. It's got this cool ring. Kind of sticks out. Which I think is an, a very interesting thing. Like I've got a. Got a Calmigo in my pocket that I stole off Jamie's desk. Um, you look at the size of that firing button versus the size of that autonomy. This thing is totally designed for gloves. It, oh, yeah. It protrudes out of there. I mean, if this were an EDC knife, I would super complain about that button. But the reality is, like, that thing is totally designed to be able to hit it no matter what. Also, the secondary lock on it. What do you think? Need a secondary lock or not? I personally don't. Care. It's uh, <laughs> no, like if if I were to buy one, yeah. I I don't ever use it, yeah. so I don't need it. That's fair. I mean, I figure if you're gonna buy an auto, you got to be ready for the action. So sure. Not necessary. I don't know. I don't. I don't feel like it's necessary. That said, though, I mean, with this thing protruding out of your pocket, I wonder if it would open up a lot easier, Gear get bumped or something. Gear and I I think that secondary lock is. Critical probably, with the button probably that's, necessary for that's that, that one. prominent. I think you got to have it, guys. This is running for one eighty one ninety seven, one hundred eighty one dollars ninety seven cents on bladeshq.com right now, and uh, we're gonna see if there's any uh, viewer requests 
for knives as okay, well. Okay, let's do it. Um, I, I'm trying to pull up the comments. Hey, Andrew, do you want to text shoot this for me? Do you want to find this on the iPad so I can see comments? I'm just going to hand it off to you. Andrew. Andrew is Andrew. awesome. He writes content for us. And uh, he's going to see if he can pull up comments. He's a wizard. Next on the list. Ooh, nice spin. Dude, I'm burning up. It's are you got, sh are you going to shed the coat come already? Off, are you? Oh, come on. Dude, I'm dying. <laughs> we went, I knew this was going to happen, man. I'm, it's just too hot. Well, it's kind of good because you're oh. shedding on the table. What, with the hat and everything? <laughs> All right. I'm pretty sure you. I have Holy some smokes. fox fur in my beard. Thank you, Andrew. Sweet. That's what I needed. This. Sweet. That live chat is up and running. <sighs> well, let's see. Hey, somebody wants to see the smoke. We can accommodate that right now. Yep. The Boost Blades smoke. I'm going to pull up the specs while we're here. While you pull it up, I will display. Mm. Then I white it. I like that. Uh, so this <laughs> is the brand new Boost Blades smoke. This is the carbon fiber edition. These just went live, I think, yesterday on Sunday morning. Yeah. And uh, these are sweet. Front flipper. Yeah. Do you like the front flipper? I actually do. Show, like show us how you front flip. Mm. That was Just good. like that. Do you want to show them? Uh, I'll show you how I yeah. front flip. Yeah, let's see. Let's see. You ready? I've been practicing. Nice. Did you see that? That wasn't bad. Did you see that? That was pretty good. Did you like that? I did. Nice. Blade steel on these guys is M390. So really solid premium blade steel on it. You got a lock bar insert, titanium uh, frame lock on it, as well as that sweet, sweet carbon fiber there. It's very classy. Super classy. And these guys come in how many different styles, Kurt? Do you remember? Like four? Um, I think that there was four when I did some images for, yeah. Nice. They're beautiful. Price on these guys is 220 Tip up carry on this. It's a great knife. Yeah, I think there's a, so we have this gray titanium, and then there's a bronze, a green, and a blue. I'm pretty sure. I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure. I just saw a comment. Somebody wants to see a uh, someone wants to see a Sat Gear Slinger, which is funny because I just posted it on Instagram, but I've never handled it. Could we put that one on the list, Andrew? Yes, it's on the list. I love it. Okay, while we're talking front flippers, should we talk Feist? Let's do it. Because I feel like these two are kind of in the same category of, hey, you put a front flipper on that. I've wanted a front flipper for a while. Have you? Yeah. You haven't bought one though. I haven't bought it one, but I keep looking at the Feist. Do you want to? You want to watch if you front flip this? Yeah. Did you see that? Oh, did you, you see did that? that? Dude, you did it. I've been practicing, guys. That's good. I, was, was that a little shed from the yeah, fox Yeah, that was a little, little fox shed. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was so hot. <laughs> it's getting warm. It is. So Kaiser Feist, this is a great knife, guys. I have been stoked on this just on a design level. It's super clean. Justin Lundquist does a great job with it. And then this is the, uh, what are they calling it? Reverse Tonto? I think it's a reverse Tonto. Reverse Tonto style. Thing. You you look at that, I'll look up specs. My favorite thing about this is these Kaisers, the Gemini is the same way and a couple others. But this smooth round edge. Trevor. Hello. Come here. Come come in here. <laughs> look, this is Trevor. He's got some suspenders going. <laughs> That's awesome, yeah. right? Trevor is one of our SEO men and he does an amazing job. He's so. a genius. Yep. Thank you. Yeah. It's good to be on night. Dude, I'm glad you're here. <laughs> You might recognize him as the driver from uh, last year's uh, Oh, the parade. Knife parade. Yes. Yeah. Or you might not. I mean, somebody asked who's running the camera. Nobody's running the camera. We're running our own cameras on tripods. It's true. Now you know. We are. The Feist. Oh, so what I was saying yep. is I like these smooth, rounded edges, even the, the spine of the that, blade. That chamfer back there. Yep. It's. I really like that. So I love this knife. And I love the fact that the the flipper disappears. It doesn't become a design element when it's open. Yeah. That said, I told Justin Lundquist this. I said, Justin, are you going to make a normal flipper? And he's like, no. And I'm like, you suck. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No. So, I mean, what don't you like about the front flip? It just, to me, so it just puts your hand in a weird spot after you open it. I'm like the worst knife salesman ever, guys, because I, I agree, because your thumb's behind the blade, and you're just kind of hanging on with you your are. fingertips. Whereas, like a thumb stud, you open it, it puts your hand in a place ready to use it. Yeah. I look at the front flipper as more of an interesting, fun thing to learn and do that I'm still working on. It's a trick. 
It's a trick that you show your it friends. Is. I've got a front flipper. Yeah, and I think they're cool for that reason. But on a functional level, I'm I'm not sold 100%. On a design level, I think they're beautiful. Yeah, I think they're cool. Yeah. What do you guys think? Weigh in. They're fun. Um, some other comments what else we got? here. Holy smokes. Will the Aisham Black Star be back? I heard it would be back, is the story. So I'm not 100% sure, but that was the rumor. In fact, we're putting it in a video tomorrow, so I hope it comes back. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Um, Let's see, what are some other ones? How do you fill out the form for the giveaway? I don't know 100%. Andrew, I think, is posting it in the comments. Give me a thumbs up, Andrew, if that's right. Yep, Andrew's yep. posting it in the comments in the stream, so. Sweet. Should we take a viewer's choice? Oh, yeah, let's see. What I don't do even know what this is. We are what coming we into here? this totally blind. Manix is this two? a Manix 2? Yeah. Here. Manix 2 and that sweet, sweet blurple. Hmm. I like that. <laughs> I knew you were going to throw it <laughs> No, I like I like the Manix. I wish that this was executed a little smoother, nicer. You know what though? I'm just so used to the axis lock. But oh, you're you're talking about the yeah. uh, the Spyderco, um, not the compression lock, the ball lock. I think is no. Yeah, whatever the they call it. it. But you you like the axis lock better. I like the axis lock better. I just I feel like. Especially with their grippy G10. They always have a really grippy G10, Spider Co does. Yeah. And with that, you're I feel like you're trying to like drag across sandpaper. You know so That was terrible. That I have got a pair of three and the G ten that came on it I felt like was a little too grippy. Just take some two twenty grit sandpaper. Really? Knock it down a bit. Yeah. I've never done that. You should try it. Because the thing is like I'm hmm. not an operator. I'm not gonna be using this thing with like I don't know. And you're not going to be downrange. No, I'm not going to be downrange. <laughs> and so for me, just knocking that G10 down just a hair, maybe that's heresy. But uh, I like it the way I like it, you know? That's cool. I should try that. You could hit it. So this guy is in the 110, S110V. And so let's let's do a quick comparison. Somebody wanted to see the Para 2, Paramilitary 2 here. And uh, the difference in my mind between these, you got the compression lock on this guy, and gosh, I can't remember the name on this one. I don't I'm know. Failure. Ball bearing lock. Ball bearing Ball lock. Bearing lock. Yes. Thanks, Andrew. Andrew's, Andrew's like the, the Wizard of Oz behind he is. the camera. He's got the knowledge. But uh, I prefer the compression lock over this guy. I would agree. And for the same reason you said, it's just a little bit chunkier yep. than an axis lock. That said, this is a fan favorite. It's a cult favorite. People love it. Everybody loves it. Um, <laughs> This one, though, is the most favorite. It's not ambidextrous, though. No. And that is something that's kind of interesting with the compression lock is you kind of only have one choice. Yep. But I do like the compression lock. That When I bought a pair of three, that was my new thing that I had to get used to is the compression. But once you get it all dialed in, I like it. it's buttery. And I think there's something to be said about not putting your fingers in the path of the blade. Yeah. I think that's uh that's why I love the axis lock. Yeah. So and this I one like this one gets the job done, but not as buttery. Not as buttery. Not as buttery. Okay, what are the people saying in the uh, in the comments here? Benchmade freak please. First spider co? I don't remember what the first spider co was. Hey, should we do a giveaway? <laughs> Let's do Is it. Is there a winner, Andrew? Are you are we picking winners on the spot? No. Can. Should we? Andrew's gonna pick us a winner. And then we'll get back to that. Okay, what's what's next in the box there, Kurt? <coughs> we have got a... Oh, we already we've got we got matching sets now. Oh yeah, look at that. Little what pair is of this? three. The pair is yeah. it a pair of three? It's definitely a pair of three. Let me let me spidey flick it for the good people. There's your pair of three in the Digicam. Uh, <laughs> you're gonna have the best time ever cleaning these up. I might pick them up, maybe. <laughs> This one's an S30V. It's basically the exact same. Well, I shouldn't say the exact same because somebody's going to go after the nuances here. But basically, it's your, your paramilitary two shrunken down. There's a little size comparison for you. Hang on, hang on. Boom, boom. So I prefer the size of the pair three. Me too. Are you a small knife guy? I, no. Oh. But I'll tell you right now, I'm not... A large <laughs> knife guy. Okay. I'm like a medium range knife guy. To me, the paramilitary two is a little too, too big. long. Mm. It's just long. It's fair. Long in the handle, long in the blade. I personally don't ever choke up on 
this. I don't get the jimping under here. Yeah. But the pair of three, I think, is just the right size. Do you like Digicam? Are you a Digicam man? <sighs> not really. I'm not really a Digicam fan. I I like some camel patterns. I hunt, so <clears throat> there's certain camel patterns that I use while I hunt. Yeah. But this is just kind of like uh, it wishes it was military. Hmm. Because the military used Digicam for a very short period yeah. because they were like, oh, this stuff doesn't work as great. Right. <laughs> but everyone is still using it on products, which I think is an interesting. Yeah, yeah. so I'm not a big fan of the Digicam. I personally like Multicam. Hmm. It's a, it's, it has a cool. little more white specks in there. Kurt, what you drinking tonight? Oh, I have a... Uh, <laughs> Looks like some sort of martini. <laughs> <laughs> I have a delicious non-alcoholic <laughs> beverage. <laughs> This is a, a monster energy drink. I noticed it has a fox hair in it. <laughs> Does it really? Yeah, it's for my jacket. Where? <laughs> it's on the side of your cup. Guys, well, Kurt's finding is, oh is a... <laughs> oh! <laughs> that jacket. I'm gonna burn that jacket. I know, man. This is bad. So guys, if you were to buy a knife tonight, on this very evening, you would get one of these sweet flitanium straws. This is a titanium straw. It's blue anodized in that sweet, sweet Ben Blue. And uh, it is flitanium. You kind of got the uh, the Capri Sun uh, fluting on the end. <laughs> <laughs> the Capri Sun You'll flute. find that in the specs on the website. Yeah, I hope so. But uh, these are available on the website. When you spend over $100, you can get a free flitanium straw. And it comes with this little uh, cleaner, too, which I thought was a, an interesting I, touch. I think it's a good suggestion to say, might want to run that brush through there a couple times before you start sipping. I did not. And uh, <laughs> aside from being fairly Actually, hot. me either. <laughs> All right. This is good. Should we, should we look at what else is on the table for a minute and come back to these yeah. ones? Yeah. Yep, okay. let's do it. Trevor What's just next? showed up with another, with another round. Okay. Oh, man. We're going to have to take a... We'll take this round and then we're Pile gonna on. we're gonna have to slow it down, Definitely. slow the flow. Ben, are you getting there you the go. Slack messages? No, I'm not getting the Slack messages. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Andrew's been sending me Slack messages, and they say, "Caden Thomas wants to see the Kaiser Feist." We did that for him. We did it. Uh, I'm a banana. Ask what's Ben's Instagram. Uh, go find it. It's out there. You'll be able to find it. TJ Genesis wants to know what knife is in Ben's knife in the thumbnail. Ben's bad. Ben bad. Oh, what was that? What? The one that you're biting on. Yeah, the, the one in the thumbnail. Oh, that's a that Tops. Was a tops. <laughs> Operator. No. I don't even know. I just put it in my mouth. <laughs> I think it's. Eagle I think Eagle. it's a Tops Eagle Operator. I don't know. Look it up on the site. It's a Tops fixed blade. It has the. Uh, what are those things called? Like this, how it protects mm. your hand. What are those called? What do you call those? A guard? Like yeah. A fast guard? Yeah. 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 How's so one many, of those? Check them out. Many requests for the Damastil Sheepdog coming in. Did we uh, end up with one of those on the table? Yes. Ooh. Should we go to that? Damastil Sheepdog. Here we go. This was in the email today. There you go. Ooh. This is not... No, that's a Protec. Right here. I was going to say, this is not... Kaiser's usual. I think I think it's a foldy box. No, <laughs> no it's not. You got to slide it out. <laughs> Ooh, look at this! Look at this! This is like an official unboxing. I got that for you. <laughs> you can have a heck of a time cleaning this up. <laughs> look at this box. It's like ooh. I do like their packaging. I've never seen packaging. Of they this stepped nature. up their game. This it's is crazy. pretty nice. Wow! Look at this. Passion, pride, performance. Oh, what is that? Ooh. Sorry, this is an official this unboxing. This is cool. Guys. Uh, that's what is that? It's like a Christmas ornament of a mini sheepdog or a sheepdog. Maybe you could. No, dude, this is like full of swag too. This Check is this out. Very cool. Wow, this is exciting. Okay, hmm. what do we got here? Ooh, I have not handled this one yet. I'm excited about this. Hmm. Ready? Ready? Yep. Ooh. Oh yeah. Look at that thing. Look at that. That's hot. Ooh, that's beautiful. That's hot. I like that. Chris Conaway design. Titanium handle. Is that a mini? This is a mini. Yeah, that's, that's a mini, mini sheepdog. Yep. That's cool. These are running, I want to say, 220, 
three. Correct me if I'm wrong, Andrew, because uh, I can't remember, but it's over 200 on this thing. Yep. That is a beautiful knife. It really Holy is. Holy smokes. The steel on there is gorgeous. Can we just talk about the packaging for a minute, too? Like, so, so, th so I this is kind of... Um, Maybe juvenile is the word, <laughs> but I love it. It's a toy. It's fun. Two ninety nine. Two ninety nine. Two ninety nine. Thanks, I was way off. That's awesome. Yeah, this is this is a fun little toy. It is. It's cute. It's almost like a dog dog toy. Yeah. Silver fox toy. Yeah, silver fox <laughs> jacket toy. I love that. Holy smokes! I feel That's like we cool. could just sit here and look at this till the pizza arrives. I'm so excited for pizza. <laughs> I am so pumped. No, their packaging. I've noticed because I do. A, ton of photos yep. and I'm always opening their different knife boxes and Kaiser recently within the last couple months has stepped up to this very high-end feeling package it's awesome it's very cool that's stellar very cool you get a little so pouch. 299 for that guy that's oh, let's put him let's put this packaging back look they even like emboss their uh, the plastic oh yeah that's cool I like that yeah I like that that's giveaway fun. time. All Let's right. Andrew tells us it's time for a giveaway. So we're going to be doing these throughout the live stream. Andrew, who is the winner? Bushcraft Dave. Bushcraft Dave. Wait, does he have, like, for his avatar, does he have Smokey the Bear? Okay. If it's that Bushcraft Dave, you won a t shirt! <laughs> Completely random. That's awesome. So, uh, t shirt plus a two decks of cards. Uh, Gerber cards and protect cards, which is super exciting. Sweet. So, Should I we, wish we could like throw them out we in could, the audience. Yeah, I wish we could <laughs> cannon, shirt cannon. Yeah. Boom! <laughs> that would, <laughs> that be, would be awesome. That would be yeah, amazing. I don't know. We, I think we'll just uh, stack them up. Okay. Just wait. Here, be careful. Don't throw oh, that yeah. off the table, eh? Oh, yeah. That, oh, yep, yeah. There's a knife in there. All right, guys. Let me check my Slack here and see what else you guys are saying. Um, what knife does Ben want for Christmas? That's a good question. I think, so the other day I did a bad thing. I went and looked up what employee pricing is on a, a Chris Reeve Sabenza, small Sabenza in Singo. Oh boy. And uh, I realized that's not what I'm getting for Christmas. <laughs> and the other one I've, I've been looking at is that Spyderco Chaparral Lightweight. Yeah, that's a good that one. I like that one. Yep. Um, what's your favorite lock type, Kurt? My favorite lock? I'm gonna have to say axis lock. Yeah. I'm a sucker I'm for you. that bench made axis lock. I'm with you. It's just, like, so, it's just so easy. Let's have a knife industry conversation for a minute. <sighs> let's do it. Would you like to see more knives out there with the, not the axis lock, but the same mechanism? Because it is public domain now. I absolutely would like to see more. What would be your favorite knife with <clears throat> that mechanism on it? If you could pick one, what would it be? I don't know. Let me think about that okay. for a minute. We'll come back to that one. All right. We'll come back to that one. That's a good question. The other thing, somebody asked this question via Slack. Um, where is Zach tonight? Uh, he is at his daughter's choir concert? Something like that? Something like that. Something like that. Um, so, yeah, he's not here. He was also sick today. He was. And uh, that made, that meant I wrote the captions on Instagram. There's some, there's some doozies. Um, Mike Carroll wants to know, give me tips on buying more expensive knives. I tend to want them, but I never really make the jump to them. Should I do it or tips? What do you think? I'm not an expensive knife guy because I'm a cheap sucker. Like that's okay. part of my brand, right? So my whole thought process is what are you going to do with it? Are you, are you a collector? Me, me and Ben actually have this conversation a lot because yeah. I usually go into the warehouse and come walking back in with this big grin on my face and Ben looks at me and says, are you buying that? And I'm like, well, I don't know. What should I do? And then, then he does the adult thing and he sits me down and says, Kurt, let me tell you a story. <laughs> and he goes into priorities and what you're going to use it for. So yeah. So, so my whole take is like, if you are a collector wanting to collect knives, there are some wonderful knives. Like I look at this, um, Todd Beggs Steelcraft, I believe is the name on this one. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful knife. Should you buy it? It's uh, thanks for has some it. has some <laughs> fox fur on there. Should you buy it? Sure. If you're a collector 
and you want a very high-end knife. This thing is buttery smooth. It's gorgeous. It's frame lock. Yeah. It's gonna run you a modest, um, hang on, I think it's $800. Let me, let me flip through the notes here. I mean, it's gorgeous. No, it's a modest $400. $400. Steelcraft Mini, beautiful knife, buttery smooth, should you buy it. If it makes you happy and you have the money, by all means. Why not? So how do you get into high-end knives? You have the money and you, it makes you happy and you buy it. Yeah. For me, this would be about, uh, I don't know, about $200 more than I want to spend on a knife. My limit's about 100 yeah. bucks. But are there people out there that love it? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Look at the look at the detail right here. It's got a yeah. ball yep. on the pocket a little clip. Ceramic That's ball cool. On the pocket clip. So anyway. how do you get into it? I think you just make the jump. And I'd say buy things with good resale value if you're making a financial jump with it. I would agree. Um, I would agree. Because if you get into it and you're like, oh, crap, what have I done? So I kind of do the same thing when I buy guns. Yeah. I think of it as, okay, this is awesome. I'm going to use this and go shooting with it. Yeah. But at the same time, it's also an investment. They're, they're going to hold their value if, they're, if you treat them right. I feel knives are the same way. Yeah, I agree. Somebody asked, what's your favorite blade type? Uh, I'm all about those drop points, folks. That's me too. I love a good drop point. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. Easier to sharpen for me. Just clean, easy. It's been a strange bug out. That thing is you, awesome. You own one, yeah? I own this one and the blue one. You own two of them? Yeah. Okay, why do you buy two of the same knife? And I actually had an additional blue one but I gave it to my brother in Colorado. And so I had to buy a new blue one. So I've, I have had three. Now okay. I currently have two. So why do you buy two of the same, other than color? Like what, uh, what entices you to do that, Kurt? Okay, I'll tell you right now. Yeah. This blade, what is it coated in? It's uh, what is it? It's called uh, Thai Nitride. This is why we're it's, live, guys. It's something different. Not DLC. Smoked it's gray chromium nitride. Chromium nitride. Yep. So I bought this because this color is my jam. Nice. Like I really like that. You love it. And then I cut into an apple. And then I could not get the blade clean for the <laughs> life of me. I had to like soak that thing down. Anyway, it it stays dirty. Mm. And I am not a huge fan of that yeah. on my blade. I don't care about the scales. I actually have this knife in my desk. So you like the satin one better with the blue? I like the satin. You could, you could swap the blades. I could swap them, but hmm. I don't know. Green and this dark slate gray, that just yeah. goes together. It does. It's, it's beautiful. beautiful. It is. Yeah. That's okay, gorgeous. Trevor's just arrived with a, a new load of knives. We haven't gone over the oh, last man. load, but I feel like we ought to hit the new load. Just keep piling it on. Okay. I don't know what this is, guys. We're just doing it. We're just doing it. Do it live. Ooh, this is the Kershaw Dividend, probably an M390, would be my guess. While you pull that, I'm gonna pull out another one. You pull another one. Oh, Kurt, this hat's making me hot, man. Dude, I'm wearing like three <laughs> rabbit skins on my head. <laughs> Ooh, Andrew's got another giveaway winner. We'll announce that one here in about two minutes after we cover these two knives. All right, next on the list is the Kershaw Dividend. <laughs> You're such a dog. <laughs> I, I just have to. Kershaw Dividend in M390. This is a beautiful knife. Uh, it's got a lot going for it. M390 steel and the price point, I think, sits around 100, Andrew? 85. 85? 85, says the man in suspenders. <laughs> <laughs> 85 bucks. I love this thing. It's got speed safe on it. I think in I like some the ways safe. they took all of the best things about the Kershaw leak and made it even better. I've always felt like the leak's tip was just a little bit thin, kind of that Warncliffe blade. Yeah. Not quite there. They made this, it's still a, almost a Warncliffe, more of a drop point, but it's uh, kind of in between. Somewhere in the middle. Four way reversible pocket clip on this, aluminum handle and a Kershaw house design made in Los Estados Unidos. Si. Si. <laughs> Orale. <laughs> so there you have it. I like this one a lot. I think that's a nice one. Okay. In fact, 
Trevor, the man in suspenders, when he started at Blade HQ, yeah. we have this little tradition in the marketing department. When somebody starts, we oh. get them a knife. Yeah. And we got him a Kershaw Dividend. Is that right? That is right. There it is. That's so it's awesome. good enough. We actually like judge their character, and we say, uh, what would they carry? What do you think of this one, Trevor? So I really like my Dividend. Um, I don't have the M390 one, but it's a 420 HC, and it's really cool. I like it a lot. What do you What do you like about it other than so style? It's the only assisted opening I have, and so it's kind of nice to have an assisted opening knife. Um, I got a deep carry clip for it. Kershaw nice. sends a deep carry clip, and I just like it. It's just How did you get thing. that clip? Did you just call them up and say, yeah, yep. cool. If Sweet. Kershaw makes a deep carry clip for it, they'll send it out to you. So Sweet. Awesome. It's a nice okay. one. For 85 cool. bucks. And I like it. Do you if, want to throw this on the floor, Kurt? No, but if you own that, you could also own a set of Christmas suspenders. You it's could. Just, it's a thing. Could you own a uh, a kitty jacket or not really? I don't know if Hard it's quite say. kitty jacket yet. <laughs> All, right, All right, Kurt, what's on your list, man? What'd you, what'd you pull out there? I pulled out a CLA. Ooh, Ooh this is a serrated CLA. What is... That's, G, what is that's this? G10. I know it's G10, but what do they call that? Sweet, sweet G10. <laughs> sweet, <laughs> sweet mother of G10. I personally am not crazy about a serrated blade. It's kind of a, where's like my blade. French baguette? I need to go cut one. <laughs> but I, I don't know. But I haven't seen this, uh, this G10 on the CLA. I've always seen the other yeah, the black it's, handle. I it's like that. It's a different G10. I like that. Now, I know it has a name, what they call it, but I can't remember what it is. I like the deep carry pocket clip. Benchmade does that really well. Yeah. Somebody asked, uh, is Trevor's shirt available for purchase? Um, he might sell you his, but it is all sold out on the website. Uh, that one was about two years ago we launched that. So t-shirts, we do them in runs. We'll do a run of like a thousand, and then they go away forever. So. I am sad because the t-shirt you guys built with the wolf Mm, yeah. I missed out on that. That one's gone forever. I missed out. <laughs> so I'm, I'm pretty sad about that one. But that was cool. The CLA is pretty sweet. I like that. CLA, I, I would recommend this to law enforcement, military, guys that are going to need an auto. This is a great yeah. little knife. Love it. 154 CM. It's good. Easy to sharpen. Plus, it's got a Benchmade's Life Sharp on it. So the warranty's really good. They'll sharpen it forever Send for you. Send it in. Yep. Okay. Andrew has told me that we have another giveaway winner. The next giveaway winner is Hayden Jackson. Hayden Jackson. Hayden Jackson. So congratulations, Hayden. Thank you for watching. We'll have three more giveaways before the end of this thing. It is 6.40. The pizza has not arrived yet. I'm getting nervous. I know. Just bang on that west door <laughs> to deliver the pizza. Whoever's, whoever's sending it. <laughs> I'm excited. I, uh, I can't wait to bite into some of that pineapple. Best knife under $50, Kurt. From Matthew Little. Well, I mean, there's a lot of options you could go with. Um, hmm. Ooh. You could get a Kalashnikov. Should we talk about that for a minute? Yes. This one is new. This one's brand new. In fact, new. I think this isn't even live on the site yet. It's not even live. I think it goes live tomorrow. Tomorrow, I think so, yeah. And the actual name of this is... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go ahead and tell them, Ben. <laughs> it's called the Black Widow. <laughs> sure it is. They they had a name for it. <laughs> You're me blush. They had a name for it, and we. What uh, was the name? Tell the good people now. We've, we've let it out of the bag. We started off with the name being the Red Rocket. The Red Rocket. And then me, Jamie, and Andrew shortly after we heard that, <laughs> commented to Ben that it can't be called that. It's just we can't do that. So now it's the Black Widow. It's the Black Widow. I like the Black Widow better. For good measure. So if you're keen on all the inside jokes and things, you can call it whatever you want. But officially, it's the Black Widow on the website. <laughs> We're getting some great comments. Uh, the Kalashnikov, though, I mean, for the bang, bang for your buck, Yeah. it's a sweet auto, and it's cheap. Right around 40 I mean, bucks. It's, it's very affordable. Yes. Yeah. I like this red on it. I think it's fun. It's cool. I think it's great. It matches you need our one? holiday season. Yeah. yeah, I think I might need one of mm. these actually. Nice. Pretty good. That's a great knife under 50 bucks. Um, let's say autos are not legal in your area. Should we take a look at the uh, CRKT Rip Snort? Yeah. I don't sure. know that I'd put this in best knives around 50 bucks. I'll bet this one is probably, what, 45 ish? 
shooting from the hip. Hey, will you find a home for this? Here, I got that. Thanks. I got that for Thanks, you. <laughs> this is a, uh, I want to say Philip Booth design. It's, it's called cool. the Rip Snort. It is tip down carry. You got that sweet, sweet, uh, what are we calling this blade style? The uh, sheep's foot? I mean, it's sort of a sheep's foot. It's more of a uh, cleaver. Cleaver? Sheep's foot, cleaver. I don't know where one starts and the other starts. Okay, so what what makes it a cleaver instead of a sheep's foot? Is, do cleavers have that belly in the blade? So we did an entire knife banter episode on that, and I still don't know the answer. <laughs> um, I don't know where one starts and the other starts. I mean, okay. some cleavers kind of come out to here. As I, far I, as would, the blade I would think a cleaver would be a little more boxy at the yeah. end. But I think maybe it's like the intent. This thing wants to be called the cleaver just because it looks a little like. But instead, butcher. it's the rip snort. Yeah. But like, look how thick this thing is. It's, it's check, a beast. Check this out next to a, uh, a bug out. It's a beast. Sorry, let me get my fat fingers out of the way. It's yeah, thick. It's thick. Thick, thick. You got the recessed screws there on the pocket clip, which I always love. I don't know the price offhand on this. What is it, Andrew? Do you know? 45 bucks, maybe? Probably around 50 would be my guess. But uh, I like it. I think as far as like a hefty knife goes, definitely a hefty knife. 38. 38 bucks. That's a ATR 13 MOB deal. steel. That's a good yeah. deal. It's a good knife for the price. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. So there's that one. I'll tell you. We got to hurry. Trevor's going to bring I'll us more this knives. This is another one from the pile that <laughs> okay. I would put close Ooh. to the price. This is new. Is this the uh, this is the one I wanted to see? The Slinger. This is the Slinger. I wrote an Instagram post on this today. I saw that. <laughs> Was it absurd? <laughs> I mean, you never know what's going to come you out never, of any of the typing you that you do. Here, here move yeah. it back. Just, just a hair. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's nice. Hmm. This thing's sweet. Um, we they we have them in three colors. They're forty nine bucks, I think, right around fifty. Yeah, fifty bucks. D two steel. Aluminum. Stainless, I think it's a stainless handle. Stainless handle? If I remember. Okay. Yes! Points for Ben. <laughs> Dude, let me see this thing. I'm going to lose in point battle. Dude, if you get to have that. all the fun at work, Kurt. You get to handle all the knives. I do. I get to handle all of the knives. Dude, that's snappy, too. I like it's that. cool. So, I... It's tiny. It is I kind of like that. Yeah, you, you're into that. I am. I like the gold hardware. I don't know if I love the gold pocket clip. <laughs> Uh, just because it is a little bit... Look at me! <laughs> <laughs> if this were a... Check me out! <laughs> yeah. If this were a non-live, Jamie would have just edited the crap out of that. <laughs> that. This one comes in the titanium gray look. It's got this blue and gold, and then there's an all black one. All black, yep. Yep. So three classic colors, just like if you were to go to Raising Cane's Chicken. They just have three things on the menu. Have you ever been to Raising I mean, Cane's? All right. No. Sound off. No. If you love Raising Cane's. I don't even know what that is. <sighs> Obviously chicken. Yeah, it's so delicious. Okay. It's chicken fingers. Well, that so sounds good. good. So good. Maybe chicken finger pizza. Okay, somebody wants to know what's in our pockets, Kurt. What's Ben carrying? What's Kurt carrying? What are you carrying? I have a couple. What you got? Well, I'm still stuck on my... <laughs> I'm still stuck on my Guardian Tactical yes. Recon 35. We'll set that aside. Okay. I have another thing over Are here. Are you going to surprise me? No. Nope. Yeah. No. Okay. James Brand Folsom. James Brand Folsom that I call the Snowflake. You name your things. You have this. <laughs> he has this uh, Forerunner that's also this vanilla cover color. He calls yeah. it the uh, Vanilla Gorilla. It's the Vanilla Gorilla. <laughs> it stands up to its name, too. May I? I yeah. I love the Folsom. I think it's a beautiful knife. Just a beautiful knife. I have a couple Folsoms. You have more? I have a couple Folsoms. How many? I had three. I had the white with the Kurt. black. <laughs> I had Somebody the... get this man a finance book for <laughs> Christmas. I, I had the white and the black, and I have looked for it everywhere. Yeah. I, I lost it. Really? But then I bought the neon green and the silver blade, the satin blade, and the white with the black, and I swapped them. So my other blade is a neon green black blade. Do you know they're coming out with a micarta one? Yeah. Do you need I'm, that? 
I'm really excited about that, actually. <laughs> I love that My Car to Life. Okay, what's in my pocket? Uh, what's been in my pocket for the last couple weeks is this brand new one from CRKT, the CRKT CEO, not available yet. This is the Ben edition. <laughs> How do you like it so far? Well, first of all, let's explain. It's, it's the What Is Up Guys edition. Oh yeah, I forgot that was on there. So this is an excellent letter opener. Like, fantastic. It looks Holy like smokes, it Trevor just showed up with even more knives. Crap. We're getting our butts kicked. I love it. <laughs> so, um, it doesn't pass the finger test, no, but that makes close. for a really great letter opener. So, Kurt, why don't you open something that I has been one, on the table? I have one last thing. What? That I'm In your pocket? Carrying. What you got? This <laughs> is my <laughs> condor throwing tomahawk. I love it. This was gifted to me. Um, by Zach, actually, even though he won't admit it. This was gifted to me by Zach when we were over in the old building in Lehigh, probably about almost a year ago. So, I got my tomahawk. And I won't throw this, but I will lightly set it down on the ground. I'll throw it for you. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds oh, dangerous. Oh, man, it's hot in here. Okay. While you open a new knife, Let's do it. Uh, I've got one other knife in my pocket, and I planted this one. This is the uh, Benchmade Proper. It's a slip joint. And uh, this has been an office knife for a minute, but uh, I've got some work to do with this. Um, I actually brought a, a bar of soap. Careful. A while back, I'm, when I know carved a, a bar of soap with the Proper, Here, I, don't know if I cut get myself. This frame. What shall I carve, Kurt? Uh, well, look at that. Christmas look at that. tree, mm. obviously. Mm. Can we get that on camera? Ooh, that's nice. Guys, I'm carving a bar of soap here because uh, I'm going to enter our uh, <laughs> our Sweet Blade HQ contest. So right now, until the 19th, if you carve a bar of soap and post a picture on Instagram of your final carving using hashtag fresh bug out, you're entered to win a Benchmade bug out in blue. It's true, blue bug out. Which is pretty sweet. Uh, do you think this is good enough for an entry? <laughs> Uh, maybe not quite. Hey, this is really satisfying. I feel like you could do like a, you could do a video of just carving. Just slow carving. Should carves. we spend the last hour of the video just, just slow carving? Just zoomed in on some slow carves. Yes. Got to get that curl. Look at that. We've been using That's this a, thing too. That was a good curl. Do you like that? Yeah. I feel like that. you're slicing me green Irish spring scented cheese. That is art. That is you are talented, Thank for you. real. Wow. No, for real, guys, if you want to win a bug out, enter our uh, little contest on Instagram using hashtag fresh bug out. Just carve a bar of soap into whatever you like and uh, tag us. We've been highly amused by se several of them. Some somebody, of them are really good. Somebody did me and Zach, our, our faces. Oh, I didn't even see that one. It, we look absurd. <laughs> Well, totally absurd. I'm not gonna comment on that. Okay, this is what we. This is what I opened. What is it? Can you identify it? On sight unseen. What you got, Kurt? This is your moment of truth. I cannot remember the name. Wait, no, I can't remember the name, but I know it's just like the Delica, but like two inches longer. You're right. It's the Endura. Endura. Yep. That's right. Yep. Classic knife released in. I want to say like 1990. 92. Really? Yeah, this is an old knife. So the Delica and the Endura came out the same year. Okay. Beautiful back locks. This one is a little long for my personal taste. Yeah. But four-way reversible pocket clip on it. This is a standard knife. Uh, when you look at like what's been around forever, this is the Benchmade Griptilian of Spyderco. Yeah. It's the Sabenza of Spyderco. So great knife. You cannot go wrong with it. And uh, great little Spyderco. It's a little bit long for me too. Yeah. This... <laughs> falls in the range of this. Yeah. A little bit long. Yep, definitely. They're pretty close. They're pretty close. Not bad. But Not yeah, bad. it's a good knife. I really like the Delica. Delica I love the Delica. is my size. Love it. Somebody asked, uh, oh, <laughs> Meme Lord Matthew's in the comments. <laughs> Matthew's What's our up, editor. Matthew? He's in Oregon now. <laughs> um, he carved a bar of soap into the shape of his dog. I did see Somebody that asked one. how many knives are in the warehouse. I literally have no idea. Thousands upon thousands. Yeah. Too many um, to count. Bug out or mini grip, Kurt? Bug out. All day. That's a personal I need preference. a mini bug out so bad. 
Well, there's a difference of what a uh, half, no, quarter inch or something like that. No, it's are they the same length? Like three quarters of an inch. Okay. Bug out the uh, mini grip is like two point nine. This is like three point two or something. Okay. And it, I don't know, it just makes a difference. Let me tell you why yeah. I choose Bug Out. It's thinner this way. It is. Way thinner. The other one's kind of like a bulky. It fills your hand a little better. It though. does. It fills your hand up, but yeah. the I Bug think they're, Out, they're different you, just, you just put it in your pocket and it disappears. That's my favorite thing. Okay, let's, let's take this one step further. Griptilian in the, I think they have a 110V with the deep carry clip and the G10 handle or Bug Out. Hmm. Is it the gray one with it's the blue the gray, liner? It's the gray one. Yeah. Gray one, blue liner. Right. I got to get that. Right. That's on All my right, list, sold. actually. Sold. Oh, man. Gray man. Hashtag gray man. <clears throat> Looking at the comments. These are hard to monitor, guys. There's a lot of comments. They're going rolling on. through. Dude, Kurt, what else is on the table, man? Oh, let's have you open one and I'll open okay, another. Okay, okay, see. This is, this is hard territory. I don't know if I can identify this one on site. Let's we'll find out. Oh, this is a rat two. Rat two? Rat one? Rat one. Is this a rat That's one? It's got to be a rat one. Yep, this is the one. I have to always forget which is which. This is the uh, Ontario Rat 1 in the Sweet Sweet D2 Steel. And this one's going to run you under 50 bucks. When we're talking about great knives under 50 bucks, this is on the list as For sure. well. Uh, Four-way rever reversible pocket clip. I would put this guy and that Delica in kind of the same classic category. This is Ontario's bread and butter. Great knife. Isn't it? I think it's D2 steel. It is. Right? Yeah. I Which like for that. For the price? I like that D2 tool yep. steel. It's tough. Yep. Solid knife. Cool. I like that. Yeah, that one's a good one. Okay, what's, what else you got in your head? I, I got feel a like piranha. We, have, we just keep collecting these children here. I got a piranha. Rated R, I think. Is it? No. I forget the names. X? X? It's an X. Rated X. The R is the OTF. Yep, this is the X. This Tactical one's nice. black. It's plain. Look I like it, this. though. Dude, I like that texture. Me too. It's like silky, but with grip. Grippy, yep. I think a one position pocket clip on that tip up. Snappy, yep. snappy. Piranha makes a great auto. Piranha has got that action. Okay. Would you ever buy a pink Piranha? No. Hmm. I'm disappointed. Would you? No. <laughs> <laughs> Would you buy one for your kitty jacket? With my kitty jacket, yeah, yes, I'd need a pink Piranha. <laughs> No, I really like Piranha's action. They're pretty. Uh, they're pretty great. <laughs> you converted me. Oh, it had yeah. To be done. It had to be done. Okay. Had to be done. That Piranha's pretty nice. I like that. Does it pass the finger test? No. Mm -mm. A little long. A little long. Just like the bug out. Yep. Just like the bug out. In fact, here you want to look at this. Look at them side by side. Yeah, they're pretty close. They're pretty darn close. And it's hmm. it's a weird thing, man. I don't know. You just gotta you gotta have them the way you like them. Where are we? Have we looked at the boost blades? We already did, huh? We looked at the booze. We haven't talked about this, and I don't... Should, not, we, should we talk about it now? I mean, you go ahead. I'm going to talk about it. Kay. I'm going to cut myself. Guaranteed. Somebody on Instagram wanted to see the Paragon Warlock, so here it is. It's a, it's a great little knife. you gotta, you got to like... Oh, hang on, hang on. <laughs> That's why <laughs> I, I won't touch it. So this one, in my mind, is more of a fidget knife than like an actual utility knife. So yeah, this are, is the Paragon Warlock. It's got this like double action piece thing here. So you push the button in and it opens it, up yes. like a clamshell. Yep. Okay. And then the knife is able to come out. So this is an official gravity knife. Hmm. And uh, this is double edged too. So this is the first that. time I've seen this. So Lugermonger did a video called Knives You Don't Hand People. And that's And this one is of like them. one of them. You just, yeah. you cannot hand somebody this knife and have them be successful with it. Like it's just. You almost have to like show them and then show them again and show them and show them again. Okay, I wanna try it. Okay, be careful. <laughs> yeah, there you go. And then to close look it, at, same. look at how that clams open. Yeah. Yeah. Scary. I know. <laughs> Fun <laughs> Makes though, me right? a little nervous. Yeah, that one's good. That was cool. Hey, it's almost seven o'clock and the pizza hasn't come yet. I'm, I'm, I'm getting nervous. Me too. I'm starting to get shaky. Absolutely. When I don't eat, I get shaky. I'm I'm a big guy. I gotta have my food. Nutrients <laughs> nutrients is an important part of my life. So let's talk about this cryo. Ooh, I like the cryo. Yeah. Rick Andrew design. That's the G10 edition. That one I think has is that the D2 steel? Do we know? 
Yeah, mm, it is. Yeah, it is. A lot of D2 on the table. D2, four-way pocket clip. Yep. Deep carry. Mm-hmm. It's a good one. We just had this on a on a sale recently. Yeah. Yep. I don't know the prices. Price, Andrew? 39 uh, cryo. Hey, Kershaw Cryo. Kershaw Cryo. We'll have a price coming up. So between that, well, I don't know if that's a fair comparison. I was going to... 35 bucks? 35 bucks. Okay, it's another talk, good one let's under talk, 50. Let's talk small knives for just a minute here. Okay. The uh, Fox Knives Suru versus the... Uh, is it, This isn't a comparison. No, not <laughs> at all. Let's talk about the Suru this, for a this minute. This is a great knife, but that is an awesome knife. It's an awesome knife. M N... What is the steel in this one? N690. Sweet. Made in Italy. Yes, for Voxenay's design. I think this one, this knife won knife of the some year. awards. Yeah. Knife of the year, yeah. At, sure. uh, at Blade Show. Blade Show. Yep. Gotcha. Beautiful piece. It is going to run you a bit of a pretty penny. Let me find a price on it. 160. 160, Andrew says. I love those colors. Do you? Yeah. It's kind of bug outy. Oh. as far as colors go. Let's talk, let's talk about this for one second. Oh. Do I need to add? No, it to you it? don't, Kurt. This is not a financial priority for you. <laughs> yeah, but it's so cool. Look at it's like Swiss cheese. And I actually really like the uh, wire pocket clip. I saw this one in a carbon fiber today that I thought maybe I need that. It passes the finger test. It does. I love, love, love the size of this. This is like kind of a similar design to the Pilar. Yeah. The CRKT Pilar. But Upgraded materials. Everyone's always like, hey, CRKT, make a better knife as far as materials go. I think in some ways you can get a very similar design. Oh, yeah. From a, a different company, same designer. L a little different, a yep. little more high-end material. Yep. So. That one's cool. Suru, S-U-R-U is what that one's called. I mean, there's a reason it won Knife of the Year. Hey, somebody wanted to see... What is the best pizza steel? Does that even make sense? Pizza steak? Pizza steel. Oh, pizza steel. Hey, there are 800 of you watching right now. Thank you for joining us on a happy Monday night. We're live. Totally live. We're still live. We haven't said anything super stupid yet either. <laughs> not yet. Well, uh, not yet. Not Andrew, yet. is it time for another giveaway? Yes. The third giveaway winner is Thomas Belcher. Thomas mm. Belcher. Congratulations, Thomas. You just won yourself a Benchmade t-shirt. A shirt. And cards. Gerber playing cards and Protic playing cards. So three items in that little care package. That's awesome. If you uh, order tonight, we can just throw it in the order and save on shipping. Whatever you want to do. Pick up a, pick up a new toy. <laughs> I think we've got two more giveaways yeah, before the end of this thing. The we've next, had three so far. we got two more. The next one will be a playing two decks of playing cards and a t-shirt. And the final one will be a Kaiser Beg Lighter in that sweet, sweet blue, and a t-shirt and two, two sets of playing cards. That would be nice. I like this one. I do too. I told him to make a mini version. You want a mini version I of I know, everything. I know, but <laughs> that's what I want. Oh, I need a mini version of this. Okay, somebody said open a Protec. So uh, we got a couple Protecs on the table. We've you open three. one, I'll open one. Okay, let's do it. I am hot, Kurt. This hat is like, holy smokes. Well, you probably wouldn't be a very good Santa. Kurt, somebody's told you to turn your hat around for like 45 minutes. Turn my hat around? For 45 minutes? I don't know. He says it's backwards. It's not backwards. Really? Where's the tag? I don't, I don't think there's a front or a back to this. This this part has a flourish up here. Yeah. Maybe we should untie it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it's like a bomber hat. You could, I love it. This is Brett's hat. We snagged this it. This is Brett's hat. All right, somebody wanted to see us. It was totally backwards. Look at this. You're totally right. Oh my gosh, how Thank embarrassing. You. Thanks, <laughs> thanks for the tip, guys. I appreciate that. All I right, literally somebody. Literally, am deaf now. Are you? Yeah, I can't. What? I can, what? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can. Can you hear me? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I can hear you. Holy smokes, Trevor just showed up. We gotta hurry, Kurt. Okay. Protec Newport. This is a sweet design from the guy. Don't spill your drink. I, it was close, but we didn't, so we're good. Brett's hat. Sweet safe. Protec from the guys at Protec Knives out in California. This one is a great little gentleman's knife, and you got a uh, uh, Protec SNG. SNG. S. SNG. The Strider. The Strider. SNG. That the one's Strider, huge. That's right. That one is like a tactical knife. 
Here, I'm, I'm gonna set this down. You go, you go high, I'll go low. There we go. Mm -hmm. Yep, the SMG's big. Huge. I love these Protex. Is there they another Protex on the table? Yep, there is. Look at this. Hmm. This is a 1221 blue. People wanna see some flipping action. So we got the PRS. Oh man. Ooh. Is that the trainer? Yes. All right. <laughs> okay, well we're talking Protex. Protex has mastered this sweet. What is that one? Ben Blue. This is the Brend 2, I think. Small Brend. Okay. So check that out. Some Here, sweet I'll move out of the way. It's a little mm. more uh, Newport size. It is. I like this one. I think it's beautiful. So I've been. It's uh, your color. It is. I've been rocking this Calmigo in various shapes and sizes for a few weeks. Um, I think this one probably has to go back to the company. The other one, the stunt double, ended up in my collection. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me. I know. <laughs> yeah. Man, I, I should fix that someday. I'm excited. 160 and 210. 160 and 210 for the uh, Newport. Oh, sorry. I thought it was a thorn. Yeah. Over $100. I'm excited for the days when uh, one of these might actually slide into my collection. Both 160. You have to find the stunt doubles. <laughs> no, well, I'll have to figure it out. You get attached to a thing. Like I had this, I had this prop at Protect. Carried, you've carried that for a while. So I had one of these on set, on set at Protect shop when we were yeah. there. And they put a uh, pearl button on it, an abalone button on it. Mm -hmm. And then when we were at Bruce Shaw's shop on our last Protect project, I'm like, hey Bruce, do you want to just uh, just engrave it out a bit? <laughs> <laughs> and he engraved the handle. So. You got a little zhuzh on that. Just I did. Fancied yeah. it up. Yep. That's cool. I, I like Protex a lot. Protex are awesome. They are. If you haven't seen the Protex video, go to the video. Go check it out. Check it out. It's a good one. We had a lot of fun with it. it yeah, was it was good. really good. Okay, of the Protex that were on the table, Kurt, well, which one did you, would you buy? I maybe not this new, the, not this exact one, because again, Digicam, not mm -hmm. my thing. That's fair. But I really do like. Like this one right here, this new port. Somebody asked, what's the highest number of knives you have sent to one person, not a business in one order? I literally have no idea. I don't know. But I've seen big boxes go out. Some it's of you have a problem. Full. Yes. Some of you guys have more of a problem than we Some do. of you have a problem. I don't have a problem. <laughs> Love it. Okay, it's somebody wanted to see some, some flipping action. I hesitate to flip with so many expensive knives. Oh, look, on the we've table, got two. But should we talk flippers for a minute? Let's do it. It's not very often you've got a, a BRS in stock, so oh. this is exciting here. And a BRS trainer, nonetheless. Don't cut yourself. I can't, man. Mine's a trainer. I mean, you never know. You never do know. So uh, this guy is the bare bones trainer, and uh, I love this stuff, man. Yours is not a trainer, so don't kill us. I like that. So the cool thing about this, I've got the bare bones trainer. What have you got? I've got the Bradley um, Kimura. Kimura, dude, no points for you. Zero points. Zero. Two points. It's all good. <laughs> but yeah, these are cool. Super they, cool. They have a. Uh, we've got all kinds of colors on them too. We do. Uh, just barely came back into the world this year. That's right. So kind of exciting there. And then, uh, so I would I would call that a very mid grade Bowie. Yeah. In Kimura. Yeah, it's it's kind of been your standard jump up from. Oh, don't do that. You're dude, gonna you're gonna hurt. I'm not a belly flipper. Yeah, don't do that anymore. Okay. Yeah, good. Here, trade me. <laughs> yeah, I'll trade you. So this one's back in the world again, and it's kind of fun to see because this is a kind of a middle of the road knife. Um, whereas your bare bones getting into the BRS <laughs> are more uh, high end flippers, which I think is yeah. it's cool to see the different price points, the different locations in the industry as far as what's out there. And it's nice because if you want to get into flipping, you can start at a lower price point. And then when you're ready, yep. you can jump up. Yep. High end. Absolutely. Okay, we've talked about ballets. We have. Hey, this CRKT snuck into the middle of the table. I have no idea what it is. Ooh, Burnley Obaki Red. Hey, have you followed the Burnley story? He and the brawlers, yeah, and the crew. What did he do? Raised over forty-five thousand dollars for. 90, was it ninety thousand? Ninety thousand now. Holy smokes! Dang. One news article said forty-five, but I, what a I thought I saw ninety at some point. Raised over ninety thousand dollars for Toys for Tots 
up in the northeast, which is amazing. That is so, so cool. Knife community at work, super, super cool. This one is the uh, Burnley Obaki from CRKT. You've got that red faux ray skin in there, cord wrapped handle, 8CR13 MLV steel. I, I used to like spout these specs off like Oh, I bet. MVD. Yeah. And then you've got this Thai nitride acid washed blade and uh, kind of cool with a uh, tiny little skull. Tiny little skull. Yep. And then the sheath on these is really good. Retention is solid. So if you wanted to wear it as a neck knife, you could. Okay. And then this is what's called a static cord. You want to learn how it works? Dude, you I do used, know I all used, the stats. I used to do the presentations, man. <laughs> Let's see so it. what you do is you take it and you stick it on your belt. Okay. Boom, like that. Yep. And you can move it around. And then you just like appendix carry it if you want. Just shove it in. Just shove it in. And like if you're like on duty or whatever and you got like crap here, you can move it to the back. Okay. Wherever you need. And, and then, then. And then when you need it, you just rip it out. And you're ready to go. That was quick. Was that quick? I'm, I Don't was mess nervous. With me, bro. I was nervous. <laughs> A little bit so kind of cool. Um, I think this is an interesting take on kind of your old Japanese style knife. Yep. And the price point's under fifty bucks. So, not my style. Not my thing. Yeah, that's the first fixed blade on the table, man. Oops. I mean, we have a <laughs> fixed blade that we. Put oh on the yeah. Table. Should we let's talk about, talk this about it? Yeah. Let's well, talk somebody about requested it. this one on Instagram. This is the Mora Companion. Great, great knife, great price. In a carbon blade, right? No? So yep. High carbon blade. High carbon blade. Yep. You got a polymer handle on this thing. The nice thing about these is they run super cheap. So you can buy it. In fact, I, uh, I have 20 of these. I think the, uh, the lower grade version for gifts for family. So if you're watching. Nice. Uh, <laughs> Spoiler alert. There you go. So, I don't own one of those. But I hear they're pretty tough. I just, I, I picked up my first one this year. Nice. So. Moranive. Morakaniv, I believe is how it's pronounced. Morakaniv. Great budget bushcraft. I've got a box. Holy for smokes, you. guys. Somebody says BHQ 940 exclusive would be stupid not to do one. Someday, I hope. That would exclusives be are hard. Um, somebody says, Kurt, what's a good budget hunting knife? Ooh, budget hunting knife? I know this isn't a hunting knife, but this is a knife that I carried hunting before I started working here was an Ontario Rat 3. Nice. Because you get enough belly of the blade, you can do some slicing, some skinning, and it's still small and compact, yeah. and it doesn't take up a lot of space. Nice. I actually used to carry it on my backpack strap right here, and I'd do a pull down. Awesome. Was that before you worked here? Yeah. That so was... you were in the knives before you worked here? Yeah. Hmm. Yep. I've had a few. Yeah. So I believe you. So that's that's just one option. I mean, there's a lot of options. Hunting knives are all over the place. Right. Can I tell you a comment that just made me chuckle? Yeah. Somebody said, I, I, the name is gone. Ben's not a thief. He's a uh, an acquirer and collector. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. That's, that's one way to put it, I guess. I love it. <laughs> Somebody says, I hate Ben Blue with a passion. Andrew, block them, will you? <laughs> <laughs> you got oh, cut. Somebody keeps saying Benchmade 940. Why don't you talk about that Benchmade, and then okay. let's talk about a 940-2. All right, we got the freak here. Whoa. Which, can we talk about that name for a minute? I. Oops. Uh, it's just a bad name, man. I don't know. It's just weird. I, I don't know. Yeah. I Check out my freak. <laughs> OK. Yeah. No, I, I do like this. This is like a rubberized texture on this scale with a G10 in the center. I can't remember what they call that. They, they had some proprietary names for that stuff that I totally forgot. I just but like, it's like grippy on one side and then more G10 grippy on the other. Yeah, I like That's it. Nice. Blade steel on this guy, I believe, is S30B. Am I right? Let's check. Yep. <clears throat> Two points for me. He's good. Nice. He is good. Dude. Grippery and Versaflex. Andrew, Andrew's telling it's Grivery and Inversiflex. What's that? Inversiflex. I feel like we need like write a, that down. We need like a trademark that pops up when we say Bing Inversiflex. <laughs> Bing. <laughs> yeah. No, this one's good. It's it, this is a little big for me. It's on the bigger end. Yeah. It, fa it kind of falls in the paramilitary. So uh, size. should we should we check out another Benchmade while we're at it? Let's do it. So Benchmade 940-2. Definitely a larger knife. Not unlike the Freak, as far as blade length, those are very similar sizes. They're very close. I like the 940 a lot. 
940 is a good one. But I sold mine in a McDonald's parking lot. <laughs> I keep hearing this story. You want to hear the whole thing? Yeah, let's hear it. Okay, so what happened is the folks on YouTube voted on my next knife. This is probably a year and a half ago. Okay. And it was a 940. So I got the regular 940, not the yep. Dash 2. I got it. To, uh, got the backspacer anodized gold. Like I'm like, sweet, this is gonna wear nicely. It's gonna be cool. Ten years from now, it's gonna be cool. I carried that thing for a month, and I hated it. And I'll tell really? You why. Yeah, it's just a little bit big for me. Yeah. And that was when I realized, like, it must pass the finger pet test, or I won't buy it. Um, also, the blade grind. I I realized with this one, I prefer a um, flat grind. So. Okay. I put it on KSL.com, which is where we sell things in Utah, and I sold it in a McDonald's parking lot. <laughs> Meet me at the McDonald's. <laughs> It'll go down at 8 p.m. I wish I'd I wish I'd documented it a little bit better. But, Let's see uh, this one. Hey, while we're talking about 940s, 940-1. Yeah. Boom. Um, beauty. 940-1. Okay, would you rather pay more for this guy or less for that guy? More for this guy, less for that guy. I'd rather pay less. Would you? Mm -hmm. What is that? S30V versus, I think this is one S90. Well, you get more bang for your buck. That's fair. That's fair. Do you? I don't know. This one's carbon fiber, man. It's lighter. It's got those sweet, sweet blue backspacers. This Thera has spacers. those sweet, sweet green. I like the blue. Of course you do. Somebody of course said, you do. Somebody said they hate Ben Blue. I know. Did you block him? Hopefully he's blocked. <laughs> You're not welcomed here. I'm just kidding. Everyone's hey, Eric Santander says, looking to buy my first knife. Suggestions. Nice. Pick something off the table. You know what I'm going to go for. You're going to do the bug out. I bug out. Do that. All day. I don't think he wants to spend that much on his first knife. Hmm. Hmm. You know what's a good knife? Tell me. Hand me that bag lighter. Mm-hmm. No, no, no. These, there we go. Oh. There we go. Okay. <laughs> oh Dude, my if we, gosh! If we could go to commercial break, we'd have to. <laughs> Fail. I keep failing. I'm, I'm, I think I'm like negative 40 points. So uh, this is the one we're going to be giving away today, here at the end of this live stream. And uh, this is the Kaiser Beg Lighter. I'm just going to pull it out. This is an excellent first knife. If you are into kind of bigger knives, I don't think you can go wrong with this. This is, uh, where those 940s go? This is 940 sizing. Very similar sizing between them. Yep. But this one's going to run you about 50 bucks. And, like in fact, all Kaisers are on sale right now. So this one might actually be a little cheaper. 44. 44 is what Andrew's 44, telling me. 44, that's a good deal. Stellar deal. Stellar deal. I like, what's the... What's the one they have it in the, green and black? The Dominic, scales. I think. No, it's a little bit smaller. Is it the Vigor? Vanguard. Vanguard is a series. It, no, it's a... I don't know. I think it's the Dominic. No. Do the comments have it? Tell oh, us. Oh, somebody said Kaiser crap from China. Mm. Oh, come on. Can we address that for a minute? That's sad. This is a great knife. You guys, so, let you me... don't, if you haven't handled one, you don't know. Yeah. So here's the deal, guys. I've heard that before, and I'm just going to take it on, take it head on for just a minute. Do it. Why is this not crap from China? Let's start. G10 handle. You got a blade steel that's VG10. That's for the money. Solid. Great blade steel. Solid. Now, you could have a crappy handle and a crappy steel and pay about the same. Here's the deal. Blade centering on this thing. Kurt, where's that at? It is perfectly in the middle. Perfect Spot blade on. centering on this thing. The action on it. Excellent action. Awesome action. The lockup. Solid. Solid lockup. So here's the deal. Like, you can hate whatever country you want to hate. But at the end of the day, the manufacturing here is spot on. These it's guys do stellar. a really, really good job. And, I mean, everybody's... Ha have your own opinion, absolutely. But if you haven't tried one of these, if you haven't held one in your hand and tried the action, it's kind of hard just to say, I hate them. Right, so I mean, you if know? you're... I saw a comment in here like, USA all the way. I'm totally cool with that. Yep. Like, buy your goods from where you want to buy your goods. But if you're calling them crap because you hate the country, that's different than yeah. calling them crap because they're actual crap. These are like yep. super high quality. And somebody said in here, um, 
if you think it's crap, you've never held a Kaiser Mini Sheepdog, which is totally true. Like, you get these in hand, and you're like, dang. I mean, so there's my two cents. These are solid. Rent I would, done. I would buy a Kaiser. Everything. All day, see, every Jeff day. Taylor, Jeff Tucky here says uh, everything has its place. Absolutely. And I think that's the reality of it is everything has its place. And I think if you're looking to support USA Made, okay, hang on to this box. We're going to need this again. I, I will. I'm going to just set this over here. It'll be safe. Oh, perfect. So, yeah, there's a place for everything. So, I mean, if you're looking for a high-quality, inexpensive knife, Kaiser is a great place to look for a first knife. I think Kaisers are great. And, I mean, yeah. We could have a long, long you know, conversation about this. Like, you can't go wrong with Kaiser. Yep. All right. Whew. Oh. Okay, Ooh. the pizza hasn't showed up, That's man. That's yours. Okay, Seriously, I'm, I'm super sad somebody about said, the pizza. Uh, somebody said in the comments... Um, I'd love to see Ben walk around with it in a spot up for, for a while. <laughs> hey, this one has like this huge warning note on it. As it should. Warning. This knife is extremely sharp. We have tried to make this knife as strong, tough, safe as possible. Please keep in mind that despite its size and weight, it is a folding knife, not a fixed blade. Not for chopping, other extreme cutting, not a chisel punch, kind of your standard knife stuff. So. Dude, none Kyle, of, none of get things. in here, bro. Last year we did keep pizza, but here you go. Oh yes, oh, chicken. Oh <laughs> yes. Wait, wait, wait. You can't, you can't come deliver chicken. Here, come, come yeah, around this come side. Yeah, come around. Okay. Come, come around, around this side. Um, Kyle, what's in your pocket, bro? He's always got something good. Ooh, new one. Boost smoke. Yeah. Boost smoke. Boost smoke. Yeah, 390 and carbon fiber. Nice. I, if I remember <laughs> right, you were the first guy in the building to have a boost knife. Is that right? Well, I think Spencer had one of the arrows. Oh, did he? But, right. but you were smoke, an early yes. adopter. But you were you, you've carried one for quite a while. Yeah. Yeah. K. Mark, what's in your pocket? I have a ZT four fifty CF. You've had this one a while. Can we yeah. here? Let's this let's is, put it right this in. Right here. Right in here. Of all time. Mm. Just it's messier it. and messier. It's yes. a good one. It's looks, been opening tape today. You've been cutting tape with it. Yes, I have. That's true. Mark, you've carried this for probably what three four years. Uh huh. Yeah. Good yep. spell. I love it. <laughs> good yeah. spell. Okay. Thank you for the chicken. You're welcome. Thank you for the knives. Yeah. Anytime, guys. Carry on. We yeah. just want to make sure that you can supply the people with their knives, so you guys got to keep fed. Right? You know, right. I just want to make sure you guys got your knives back, just because <laughs> Ben, yes, ben oh, is no. here. Okay. All right. I'm, I'm glad you guys got them back. I'm excited for this. Dude, have some chicken, bro. Mm. Somebody Chick says Chipotle is better than anything in the world. They've clearly have never had Raisin Cane's. And Chick -fil Chick -fil is really good, too. <laughs> Jamie's laughing over there. Jamie doesn't like, Jamie doesn't like Cane's. He's Why? What do you got? What do you got against it? Let's it's hear it. Mediocre at best chicken. No, it's <laughs> it's great chicken. I have <sighs> I have no no say in this. All right, so no pizza. The answer, Jason, is no pizza. You guys didn't come through this year, but we're gonna have chicken instead. <sighs> Absolutely. All right. Let's let's cold see this steel thing. espada. Did this thing? <laughs> Can't even open it. That's a two-hander. Look. The framing on the camera on the B cam doesn't even like hold it. <laughs> it's a big, dude. Uh, I just don't. Big. I just don't know why. Hey, weren't you saying um, Lynn Thompson carried one at Blade Show? I didn't say that, but it sounds on brand. Yeah. I. Yeah, Jamie Jamie's says yes. saying yes. Yeah, he like pulled it out and he's like, "Oh, EDC this thing," which is pretty amazing. That's um, crazy. Shot show. That's if you right. guys carry one of these, I need to know in the comments what you do with it because I, I literally. Where do you es put it? Espada in Spanish is sword, which is an aptly named. Uh, this is aptly named, but it's just so big, and uh, I have no use for this in the world. But there are people that buy these. Um, I, I couldn't do it. Somebody wants me to do the finger test on the uh, on the cold steel. <laughs> I'll humor you guys. <laughs> Hang on. Yes. There we go. We're close. We're close. I love it. Oh, that thing man. Is, that thing's massive. Jeremiah Hampton says it's my EDC. I don't believe him. Prove it. Send us a photo. Ankle carry. Ankle carry? So In a boot, it's a purpose-built self-defense knife. I can see that. Which, one thing that is cool about this is you got this, um, I don't even know what they call it, but basically it's, it's going to snag on your pocket and open mm -hmm. as it comes out. So, kind of a cool feature. One of our guys cut the tip of his finger off with one of these. True well, story. Yeah, let's see this thing. It, it snaps this. closed, yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, it's so a guillotine. Careful. It's a guillotine. It is. Whew, that's an intense warning note. Holy smokes! All right, I think we're getting down to the last of it here. Hmm. Let's hear it. Let's hear about Project, this one. Project Sprint. Beautiful. It's a nice life. one. Gorgeous. This one I think runs like 600, somewhere in there. It's up there. It's up there. Damascus on it, almost like a raindrop Damascus titanium handle. Is it 400? I don't know. We'll find out. Comes in this nice box. What? 485. 485. 485. 485. This is not a lot of knife for a lot, a lot of price. No. But if I had a lot of money and I wanted to like strut, why not? Boom. Right. That's what I do. Comes in this fancy. So box. maybe I need one because you know me, I wear fur. I I know <laughs> you need the jacket. Let's put it back on. Dude, should we end with the jacket? I'm too hot, man. <laughs> Still too hot. I'm gonna put smokes. this one safely back inside here. That's a good idea. All right, we did Kimura. We got a giveaway. Ooh, we got one more giveaway. Let's do one more giveaway. Two more. Two more giveaways. We've been at this a minute now, guys. How long? The fourth giveaway winner is Cynthia Carlisle. Cynthia Carlisle! Da, 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 da. Come on down! You're the next winner I really winner wish we could like rocket ben. this stuff out of there. Like, I know. A shirt cannon. We need a shirt we cannon. We need a shirt cannon. <laughs> Cynthia, congratulations. Thanks for watching. We'll send you a Benchmade t-shirt and a set of ben uh, Protech and Gerber playing cards. Which, by the way, will you hand me two sets of those? So, if you're not familiar with these guys, you should be, because they are super- Yes! It's cheap pizza. Yes! Pizza! No way! Come on! Yes! <laughs> Come on in here! Yes! <laughs> oh my gosh! What are your names? I don't even know who you are. I'm Katie. This I'm is Jake. Jake. Come on in, Katie in the middle. Jake. Bring it oh. in, bring it in. Okay, okay uh, Katie it? and Jake, were you watching at home? Yes. <laughs> and you showed up at Blade HQ with pizza. Oh yeah. Yes. That's amazing. That's awesome. <laughs> Thank you. We're running yeah. out of time. We I love that, it. So. Uh, I'm so <laughs> grateful. Thank so, you. So before you go, uh, you're knife people, obviously. Yeah, we're getting into it. <laughs> okay. So um, what do you carry? I've got... Um, Katie first. Yep. Mini sheepdog. Mini sheepdog. Ooh. Mini sheepdog. Yeah. Beautiful. That's here, awesome. Here, let me show it right here. Oh. Let, me, let me get it up right here. Mini sheepdog. This is it's a great little dirty. knife. Do you, do you like it? <laughs> oh, I love it. Yeah. What do you like about it? Um... What I like most, well, it fits in girls' jeans, but it doesn't feel super tiny. Nice. So, Can you tell us a little bit about how that, because you, you have pockets like this big? Yeah, <laughs> usually. Pretty large, yeah. Right? Is that pretty standard? <laughs> yeah. So this thing fits in your pockets? That is just, that is the longest I can carry That's in my awesome. girls' jeans. Yeah. So do you carry it, does it go all the way in the pocket, or do you kind of have to carry it at an angle? No, it goes all the way in. Nice. Yep. Nice. Solid. Very nice, Katie. Thank what do you, you. got? Tonight Jake, I got right? the Metal Arc 2 bird. Ooh. Ooh. Very nice. That thing's sweet. Made by Spider Co. Great. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Yep. Blade steel on this one is 8 CR13 MOV. Mm -hmm. I like it. Why the, uh, why the bird? We're it, just getting cheap. into it. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, price <laughs> it's really good. How you much know? did you pay for this one? It was like 20 bucks. Yeah. Nice. So nice. Blade HQ, of course. Of course. <laughs> I can't believe you guys brought up Loyal. <laughs> loyal. <laughs> I'm stoked. These guys are loyal. I'm stoked. Okay. Um, so I wasn't planning on this, but uh, I think I think we've got to do this because you're here. Here's a deck of cards for you. All right. And a deck of cards for oh, you. Yeah. And uh, what else is on the table that we can give away? <laughs> what, what's your t-shirt size? Um, I usually wear a small, smaller medium. Large or extra large. Okay. So we've got, we're, we'll find more t-shirts for you guys at home. Here's an extra large. Oh man, there goes the box. <laughs> no, we don't lose the box. And then uh, I everywhere. think Trevor can find you a medium t-shirt. You guys are awesome. Thank you so yeah, much. Thank Holy you. smokes. Yeah, you guys are awesome. That's... Oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> oh yeah, no, that's nice. We, we can do a swap out. I mean, there's a mini sheepdog up there. <laughs> yeah. A new one. Yeah. We'll just swap right over. <laughs> Did you guys see this one? Were you guys there when we yes. showed this one? I, yeah. That one's sketch. You love it though. That thing terrifies me. <laughs> No. I've See, seen the I almost put my hand on it to push it in. <laughs> yeah. That's dangerous. Awesome. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Fantastic, Thanks, guys. <laughs> you guys are great. We did not plan this, guys. Like, no joke. <laughs> they just showed up. We're live. <laughs> and they just hooked us up with pizza. I'm stoked. Dude, why don't you uh, enjoy... Uh, no, we better save the pizza. Okay. Should we save it for a minute? Y yeah. Let's save it. Cause oh, can pizza you put this on your little uh, stool over there? No, yeah, put it right here. Oh, here we go. Andrew. Oh, yes. Thank you, Andrew. 
We oh, got man. pizza. Dude, I'm I knew pumped. it would come. Yes. I just like, it's a Christmas miracle. It really, really <laughs> is. All right. We got a few more on the table. Oh, yeah. Let's, Let's see. pump through these. Ooh, this is exciting. The uh, 0462 from ZT. I feel like we have hit tons of wonderful knives tonight. This is Absolutely. fantastic. So um, we already showed you the uh, 0450. This one is kind of its bigger, older brother. The 0462. That's a big one. It's a huge one. Should we compare it to a uh, 940? Yes. Boom. There's the two of them together. This is a very large knife. You got that upswept That's Persian huge. blade on there. And uh, blade steel on this one is 20 CV. You got a uh, red weave carbon fiber on there. Which I think is awesome. Yeah. ZT does another colored weave, a white, a white. They do a weave. white and they do a blue as well. That's cool. Titanium frame lock with the uh, lock bar insert. Um, so just a great knife, Dmitry Sinkevich and uh, the action. The reason to buy a ZT is for the action. It cannot be beat. The reason not to buy a ZT, worst knife salesman ever, is they all make them big. They they have not made, they've only made one knife that passes the finger test. Okay. I know. It's my it's my preference. A finger finger test. No, you gotta, you gotta, you have, gotta it, have a little bit of leeway on the finger test. I, Because I, I have. You love what you love, man. <laughs> What's the one I have? It's the 808. I think so. Black? Yeah, the black guy. And that, it's got to be close. Okay, Trevor's got not. another ZT in his hand, so we keep talking ZT for yeah, a Yeah, let's do it. I can't believe they, they brought us pizza and delivered it on set. <laughs> that was awesome. Katie and Jake. Heck yeah. Muchos hearts. <laughs> Muchos. <laughs> let's see. What do we got here? We probably have like $3,000 of knives on the table. Yeah. It's getting there. It is. Ooh, look at this guy. This is the RJ Martin ZT that I forget the number on. 0609. 0609. Oh Did you my. have to wrist flick that? Oh my gosh. You're gonna start a riot. <laughs> Guys, please forgive me. I know I'm already negative points. <laughs> Be generous, please. Don't eat me alive. This thing's beautiful. Look at that. Yeah, titanium. So my one qualm on this one, it's cool, but it's kind of not cool is that flow through pivot. I think it's awesome, but you have to have an extra tool to make it work. Yeah, let's see if we can get that flow through. Hold on, with my red jacket, maybe? Mm. Yeah, there it is. Mm -hmm. A little bit right there. Yep. That's cool. Love it. Solid knife, though. It's a great knife. RJ um, Martin. RJ Martin designs a great knife. That is my one hold up on these is the, the tool. Because you got to pay 25 extra bucks for the tool. I don't want to have to buy a special tool. No. I agree. I but just want to use my own tools that I have. Yeah, but there's a certain set of people that don't care, and they're going to buy it anyway. That's true. Tell us, guys, if you've been shopping on Blade HQ recently, what you purchased. We'd love to know. By the way, uh, you've probably seen these already if you watched the whole live stream. But uh, if you buy a knife or anything off BladeHQ.com right now, you can get a free titanium titanium straw. And uh, they work extremely well. That's tricky to say. Flytanium mm -hmm. titanium. Yes, sir. Did you hear that? Does the bug out live up to the hype? I'd say it does. Absolutely. Yep. Okay. It absolutely. We're getting does. down to the bottom of this. Go the Buck Brasson. 110 in brass and micarta. Buck the Zach Auto. Yeah. That's Zach's knife. It's Zach's favorite. It really People is. People ask where Zach, if you didn't hear us the first time, he is home with his family tonight, which I think yeah. is great. Yep. So. Allows us to uh, cover more ground. So this one's a, a great knife. Not for me. And I say Why? this every time we bring it out. Why? I want to know. So every single other auto on the table closes and opens the exact same way. Button lock. Push to open. Yep. Push to close. Every single one. I mean, the spider autonomy, for instance. Por ejemplo. Push to open. Push to close. See. So there I am with the buck 110. Are you ready for this? The CLA. Push to open, push to close. Buck 110, push to open. Oh yeah, I it's a I always do that yep. too. I yep. always do that. And I think some people will buy it for that because it's the nostalgia, it's your grandpa's knife in yep. an auto and it's great. And people do, people buy them like crazy. 
But for me, that's a total deal breaker. I just want to be able to open. I can't do it either. Yeah. yeah. But I, I think as far as the styling and as far as the heritage on it, can't beat it. You got that 440C steel on it that uh, they do that that heat treating, that one heat treating that is oh, yeah. so spectacular. They do that. Is that a dog? It sounded like a dog out there. <laughs> is a dog out there? He wants the pizza. I we, love it. We got to hurry and eat that pizza. Okay, what else is on the table? Are we there? We're there. Uh, no, 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 we missed something. Oh, did we? We missed like no. two things. Nope. No? Those That's are Kaisers. the Kaisers. That's the uh, Piranha. That's All right, the Kurt. Kurtek. We need a giveaway winner. We need a giveaway winner, but first, we've talked about what's in our pockets. We talked about the soap carving. Ooh, the last thing that we want to talk about. TR3DW. Ooh, I'm excited. Why about don't that you one. start into your sandwich? <laughs> All right, TR3DW, if you haven't seen our ProTech video, head over there and ask Dave a question. Dave from ProTech is answering questions in the comments over there. So, our new ProTech video, you can uh, enter to win this TR3 by leaving a question. Obviously, there are rules to that, so check out the rules on the website and uh, you can win a TR3. So, I like that knife. Yeah, I do too. That colorway is, that's my style. It's hot. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, Kurt. We've talked a whole bunch of knives. There's a whole bunch of knives on the table. What knife would you take home today? Well, what... What knife would you not steal and actually buy? What would I actually buy? What would I actually buy that I haven't already <laughs> <laughs> haven't already bought? Okay, I've got two. Okay. Ooh. Okay. I like this guy. And not the Digicam, but those are my two. Those are your two. Yep. Do you know what's funny about your two? One of your two, I would also buy that one. Yep, yep. I knew it. Yep, I, I think that's just a, a really solid knife in hand, M390 steel. I love the look on it. I don't think I would get this model, though. The Why? Swiss cheese is going to collect lint like crazy. You want that carbon fiber that you I saw. think I do. Yeah. I think I do. Uh -huh. Someday. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. Probably not, because I'm cheap. <laughs> you are. I, I need a knife to like sing to me. Hey, we have an upcoming Secret Santa thing here at work. Oh, we do. So... Hmm. Someone might, might be happen. extra generous. <laughs> uh, and then the other one that I would probably... It's not here anymore, that Kaiser Sheepdog. That one is awesome. Oh, yeah. That's outside of anything That's I here. would spend. Well, I'll leave it in there. You remember the packaging. Yeah. Was, but that would be my other choice. Right that, in that, that range. That was good looking. I forgot about looking. it because I couldn't yeah. see it. Yeah, that's a good one. Totally. I think that's it, man. I think... I think I need one of these so I can... <laughs> You have such an addiction. Dude, you just cut your hand off if that was real. I did. That was... Not bad. Not that bad. was... But it wasn't great. All right. Guys, that is the live stream. Let's get everybody on here. Jamie, Andrew, hey, Trevor. I know. Oh, get on here. Yeah, We're all going to announce this giveaway together. The final giveaway winner. We've had about 800 people on here the entire time. So thank you to you guys for tuning in. You can buy all of these knives. These guys are awesome. Com. These are the guys that made it happen. Really. Very, very true. Just Jamie running chatting. cameras, switching things. Andrew running specs. Trevor grabbing knives. And uh, Trevor, who is the uh, final giveaway winner? Looks like Thomas Belcher. Mm -hmm. no. Nope. 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 No. He was the third giveaway winner. <laughs> I guess. I guess. Or Thomas. Okay. They're at the bottom. All right. Edgar Jimenez. Edgar Jimenez. Edgar Jimenez. You won yourself a Kaiser bag lighter, as well as a t-shirt and two decks of playing cards. We will get those shipped Just out to you. all of the winners. Thank you to everybody for tuning in. Woo! We'll have another video coming out for you next week. Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, whatever you celebrate. Have a wonderful holiday, and thank you for buying your knives at BladeHQ.com.